Hello YouTube, how does Viagra work? The word Viagra has now become a household name. At the same time, not everyone knows what exactly the drug is intended for and how to use it correctly. As you understand, we will talk about drugs that increase potency or, in the language of doctors, used to treat erectile dysfunction, or impotence. This problem is very relevant, because every year in our country people are less and less often sexually active. On average, about 30% of men aged 30-35 already have erection problems and cannot live a normal sexual life. At the age of 40-50 years, this percentage increases. According to research by a condom manufacturer, of 40 countries, Greeks, French and Italians are the most sexually active. On average, men of reproductive age in these countries have 130-140 sexual acts per year. In Ukraine, this figure is only 10-12 times a year. Of course, there are men who have sex more than once a month, but there are many who have not had sex for years and do not see this as a problem. A bit of history. The drug Viagra appeared relatively recently. The Pfizer company was conducting a study of a drug for the treatment of cardiovascular diseases, invented by one of the German pharmaceutical companies. One of the side effects of the drug was the appearance of an erection in the presence of sexual arousal. In the course of further development, Viagra appeared. Since then, Viagra has saved many families, brought pleasure to many women and men. What does Viagra work on? What is interesting about the drug is that when there is sexual arousal, an erection occurs. That is, Viagra is designed to increase the blood supply to the penis to achieve and maintain an erection. If a man took the drug, and his sexual organ did not take combat readiness, then he did not have sexual arousal. Excitation occurs during direct contact with a woman of interest to a man, caresses, hugs, kisses, inhalation of pheromones, etc. Then, under the influence of Viagra, an erection appears which the same drug maintains and holds throughout the entire sexual intercourse. After the end of sexual intercourse, the excitement subsides, and the drug again ceases to act. Who Viagra won't help? Since sexual arousal depends on testosterone levels, the drug is less effective for people with low levels of the male sex hormone. The drug has little effect on men with certain diseases, for example, with diseases of the inner lining of blood vessels, endothelium. If the endothelium produces little substance, which is an erection mediator, then Viagra also does not work well. This is observed in patients with diabetes mellitus, in patients with metabolic syndrome. The drug is contraindicated in women. Viagra is ineffective for people with severe atherosclerosis. With this disease, the vessels cannot expand, but an erection is an expansion of the arteries of the penis. What are the contraindications? Sometimes in the media you can find news that someone has died from Viagra. In fact, a person did not suffer from Viagra, but from the load that he gave to his body during intercourse. After all, sexual intercourse is a kind of stress for the body, while there is a load on the cardiovascular, respiratory, muscular system, and the central nervous system. If a person, for health reasons, cannot endure these loads, then Viagra has nothing to do with it. Medical contraindications include allergic reactions to the composition of the drug, intolerance to individual components, as well as diseases in which it is contraindicated to live sexually. What besides Viagra? After the invention of Viagra, other drugs appeared that were similar in effect. The next drug was Levitra. It has fewer side effects, it affects the vessels of the penis more and less on others. From Viagra there are headaches due to the concomitant expansion of the vessels of the head, there is swelling of the nose due to the expansion of the vessels of the mucosa. The third drug is Shalas, Tadalafil. This drug has already been invented by the Americans and it has a fundamentally different formula. Shallus acts within 36 hours due to the fact that it has a longer half-life in the body. 
If you apply it two times a week, then you can live a normal sex life all week. This does not mean that all 36 hours there is an erection. As mentioned above, it occurs only when there is sexual arousal. No matter how popular methods of treating impotence are advertised, not a single medicinal herb can reach the level of Viagra. Plants are adaptogens, which in small quantities are able to increase testosterone production, increase blood supply, blood circulation, increase defenses, muscle strength, etc. Fight operations of the level of Viagra, affecting directly the vessels of the penis, are not and cannot be. Thank you for your time and attention listening to me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell sign to be informed about new videos. Have a great day.